The Princess of Wales has been praised for her endless positivity and tireless support for her charities. Kate, Princess of Wales has been defended from trolls on social media, with fans lauding her approach to life in the royal family and her dedication to her charitable causes. In a post on X, formerly Twitter, a video was posted by user at Catternish of a woman saying, Girls girl. I've noticed a pattern with a lot of women. You guys support women who either make a lot of mistakes or are really f asterisk 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 d up people. I don't know if it makes you feel better as a person. The video was captioned with the statement. This is absolutely correct. I love how some people here, particularly women, defend women who lie, break relationships, bully but when Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales, comes up to an event smiling and bringing awareness for a cause, they are the first to try to tear her down. Kate was spotted out and about last week back on royal duties, as she was in France on Saturday night cheering on the England rugby team in their first game of the Rugby World Cup, which saw them beat Argentina 27-10. The Friday before she and Prince William were at St. David's Cathedral in Wales for a small service to mark the one-year anniversary of the death of Queen Elizabeth II. The royal couple still found time to appear on Mike Tyndall's podcast The Good, The Bad and the Rugby ahead of the Rugby World Cup, with Kate and William patrons of the Rugby Football Union in England and the Welsh Rugby Union respectively. They chatted to Mike, who is married to William's cousin Zara, about the lessons they learned from playing sport, including how to be a good loser. William said, I think people don't know how to lose well. Talking about our children in particular, I want to make sure they understand that. It's really important from a young age to understand how to lose and why we lose and then to grow from it through that process. He went on to explain how playing in the rugby team at Eton helped him learn how to work with others and cope with fear and pressure. The prince continued. The team environment of sport played a big part in my life and my upbringing. I gelled and loved being in that quadrant of fear, noise, competitiveness with your mates and your team around you. I loved the highs and the lows, looking out for each other if someone got injured or if someone was feeling a bit left out you'd go and make sure they're included.